We we'll now have Ademi Adeniron, who's an associate director of Anderson Tax, with us uh, to take a look at this matters. Good morning, Mr. Adeniron. Yeah, good morning. Now, was the news of a tax break in Cross River not a breath of fresh air? Yeah, um, I would agree that um, it's a commendable gesture from the governor, right? Whichever way you look at it, we have um, close to 80 million people in Nigeria living below poverty line. And um, any amount of money that you put in their pockets for them to increase their disposable income is always something to cheer about. I understand that um, in some states you have commercial motorcyclists paying as high as 1,000 naira daily mm -hmm. on taxes and levies. If you multiply that, that's about 360,000 naira in a year. Having an additional income of 360,000 naira to spend is really something to, to cheer about. And I'm sure the people of Cross River State are glad about it. Right. Now, but well, there are some people who are still skeptical about this. I mean, we had some analysts on the show this morning who have different opinions. Is there any basis for such? Well, um, from what I what I gathered, some some have said that um, the the finance act that was issued in earlier this year already exempts small businesses from taxes. So, um, um, so which additional taxes um, Cross River exempting small businesses from? Also, some people have been skeptical about okay, what's the definition of small business? You know, because. Um, but if you look at the law critically, right, the Finance Act only exempts um, small businesses from charging VAT. So if a small business is, you know, engaging a big business on the transaction, it will still be charged VAT. So not all taxes have actually been exempted um, in Cross River states. Federal taxes that are not under the purview of the state governors will still be required, small business will still be required to pay those taxes. Then um, I've not seen the law yet, but um, the definition of small business is very key. I may, I may be running a hairdressing salon, mm -hmm. you know, multiple hairdressing salons, and I may have a turnover of more than 100 million or 300 million. So I'm not a small business in the real sense of the word. So that definition is very key. Yeah. So there will always be um, critics, you know, with respect to the law. And a law can always be improved upon. A law is not always perfect. But what I would say is that anything that um, is done by the government to increase the disposable income of individuals is always something to, a welcome development and right. we can always improve on the argument okay yeah. let's take the last question which is what can be done to ensure that the promise of a tax break materializes into something actually beneficial for the masses well um, effective monitoring you know in times past the government have given tax break with the intention of stimulating economic um, growth in the particular sector but um, those growths have not materialized over three, four years because um, the effect or the impact of the tax um, break has not been properly monitored. So proper monitoring is very key and also enlightenment of the citizens to know, okay, which taxes are you obligated to pay and which one are you exempted from? So if you combine those two efforts of monitoring the impact of the tax break that have been made and also enlightening the citizenry, I think the masses will be able to feel the impact of mm. the tax breaks that are being passed by the government. All right. Thank you so very much, Mr. Denny Ron, for your time this morning. And stay safe out there. Yeah. Thank you for having me.